So for my project, I created a team balancer in Python. So my friends and I run a tournament including eight Minecraft high pixel mini games that recently has been plagued by unfair teams because right now the team balancing is done by hand, which takes a lot of time and effort. So I thought it would be something that would be cool to automate if I could. I created this code here that takes in sets of players to put into teams and each player statistics namely their point averages from past tournaments in an effort to create a more balanced set of teams. Right now there's a CSV file for each mini game uh, Bed Wars, Bridge Duels, Build Battle, Mini Walls, Parkour Duels, Party Games, Sky Wars and UHC Duels that has each player's name and their point averages uh, for the past tournaments in that game. And if there's a player that hasn't played in a tournament yet, they can be substituted for whoever the tournament organizers think would be the closest match. So here's a general roadmap of my code. First, it loads stats in for the players. Uh, I did that with a load CSV function here. I just run that for each uh, mini game, and then I assign that. That becomes a list of lists uh, for each player and their uh, point value for that game. Uh, next, it creates dictionaries for each game, where each player is the key, and their point value is the value. Uh, this is pretty simple. It's just so you can put in the bedwars dictionary function, you can pass a player as an argument to that function, and it'll give you their point value for all of the games. Next, I have it generate a list of all 1,820 possible teams uh, down here, which is 18, 20, which is uh, 16 choose four. So then after that, it generates a list of four unique teams. I did that in this function down here. Uh, it just does that randomly because there are about 455 billion possible combinations and generating all of those combinations, I tried it before but it's way too computationally intensive for my computer to do. Maybe if I had a supercomputer. Uh, next it takes those generated teams and it generates a closeness. Oh, next it um, finds out each team's average for each game. So I have all these functions. Uh, takes in each player's Bed Wars stats, British Jewel stats, etc. and returns the team average for each minigame. And then I have the closeness index, which is supposed to just be a number that tells you how good each set of teams are. Uh, right now, the lower the closeness index, the better all the teams are. So after it generates that closeness index, it will output a set of uh, the set of teams and its closeness index. So right now, I have it configured to do 1,000 set of teams. And right now, I use the standard deviation uh, as the closeness index, but the good thing about this code is that it can be changed very easily. All you would have to do is change these two lines and you can make the closeness index whatever you want. And then it will output the results in an output.txt file in, uh, in this format. So you can generate however many sets you want. You can have the player names be whatever you want and the point values be whatever you want. Uh, and it'll output this, and so you can just go through and see what the lowest closeness index is, that's this first number here, and pick a team based on that. I could, um, I could make it so the program will automatically select whatever set of teams has the lowest closeness index, but there are some cases where some players don't want to be teamed with each other, so I figured this was a better way because as a server organizer, you can look through the teams and see if that's an acceptable set of teams to use. And that's it. Thank you for listening to my presentation.